All right, guys, what's up? It's DJ Martini Midwest coming at you with another video for my channel. So today, I just wanted to go over the big engine prime or prime, or sorry, the engine software now, whatever you would like to call it, guys. It is now the engine uh, software for Den and DJ, um, and it is used with the, you know, prime controllers. It's also a software that you can, you know, use to arrange songs and do things like that. Uh, very important when you're using it with the Prime 4 and the Prime 2, Prime Go. Um, something you really need to get that set up ready to go. Now, there's a lot of videos out there talking about what it does exactly, like uh, what new features it has, some lighting features, and it's going to change the the look of things. It's also faster, it's going to download better, it's going to have playlists instead of crates, and, and all kinds of fantastic stuff. And I'll probably go into some of that in a later video, but they really just don't tell you guys how to get it done. So I like to make these videos because, you know, I'm not super computer savvy or anything myself. And sometimes I just have questions about it. And it's good to just watch a video or do something like that. That way you can get an idea. So everybody talks about what it does, and but nobody talks about how to get it done, how to download it, and how to prepare it for a computer. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take you through this. You can see it's my home page here. And then we're just going to go to the Internet here and go to my search tab here there we go and we're just gonna go I already have it open so I'm just gonna open my search tab here and we have you know your search tab which will take you to you know Den and DJ so then you just go to your Den and DJ www.denanddj.com guys click on that and then that's going to take you to this page right here and then you're gonna go to you know products here and you're gonna see on the very bottom you have the engine DJ software so we're gonna go ahead and click on that and go to the next and then it takes you to this page so we've already gone to three different pages guys and you're gonna to get to this page right here and you see it's the new the new engine software here <clears throat> and we're gonna go and close that good but it says engine DJ desktop create manage and prepare your collections from your comfort of your computer so that's what we're gonna be doing today guys so I want to show you here so then we're gonna go down and it's gonna say download engine DJ so we're gonna go ahead and do that and it's going to ask us if we want a desktop or an OS system so if you have Apple you're gonna have OS and if you have a you know Microsoft Windows 10 uh, I'm actually testing this on a Microsoft 11 beta uh, update here so we're gonna see if it's gonna go ahead and work for this uh, this will be really cool to see as well so we'll check this out as well but we're gonna download it for Windows and because that's what this is gonna be Windows 11 but it's a kind of a beta so we'll see if it works and then it says please ensure that both your desktop OS you know have performance capabilities to be able to do it and it says if you have the Denon DJ X1800 or X1850 mixer please ensure that you update with the latest version of DenonDJ.com downloads and then you just hit and you understand here so that is going to go to my downloads and we're going to go to the download page in a second so this is just for your laptop this is just so you can prepare stuff on your laptop now to use this on your Denon DJ Prime 4 go to whatever you have out there you're going to have to do their updates and I'm going to show you that in another video as well how to get that update because once you switch to this new uh, engine DJ you can't use the other one and that's kind of uh, something I want to go into too in a second here but we'll continue to go as we're working here and so uh, you know definitely it shows you the bonus of this you know go ahead and doing it the new features the new playlist new uh, database play history upgrades it's going to give you the time now uh, sound switch data export uh, more Apple M1 capability third-party library upgrades record box import upgrades uh, drag and drop from your folders which will, will be cool because that was a kind of a pain in the butt with the last system is you you had to like pull whole songs and playlists it didn't quite work uh, folders didn't quite go in right because you had crates and all kinds of other stuff so it will be cool there um, and, and it just fix all these issues guys there's a ton of issues here 
Um, and they're also going to have an upgrade for you able to, to work with uh, some of the Philips Hughes lighting. So you'll be able to perform with some lighting uh, if, if you have any of that stuff. I don't, so I won't be really using that, but uh, kind of cool feature there. So we're going to go ahead and go to my downloads here. We're going to get a back down out of this page. We're going to go ahead and open my file explorer here. Go to my downloads. <clears throat> And there is the engine too. So we're going to go ahead and side click on this. Just so I can see what it's going to say here. And we're going to go ahead and open it. To go ahead and start installing it guys. So that's what we're doing. It's going to ask you for your agreement. If you want to go ahead and read this. You should go through all this. Uh, if you want to get to, to that. And then you're going to go ahead and hit install. And I just want to see if it kills my old prime engine software if it replaces it or it's going to be a complete completely separate deal so we're going to find that out in a second too so it was asking me if you know i was going to let engine dj go ahead and work on my computer here so i said yes and now it's initiate uh, initiating the process here with the engine prime software or engine DJ software um, so we continue to go here and we're seeing what it's gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and close this back page out and this page as well and we'll just keep the load page now I see I already down here in this corner I had the prime engine software and it already killed it so it's already gone and it replaced it with the engine DJ emblem there you saw how that worked so it, I am happy that it does that because I didn't want two separate programs and then I had to go in and uninstall the old program and pick up the new, the new program. But remember, when we have this new program, it killed everything in the old program. So it is absolutely, we're going to have to, I, I'm, I can't wait to open it to see if it actually, you know, starts. What, what do we have in the new program? Is it going to be uh, completely empty or did our songs move over or what's going to happen? I would really, I can't wait to see what happens here. So we're going to wait just a little bit. Um, I am on Wi-Fi, so it is taking a little bit extra. I would always say when you do these things too, is to go ahead and have a Ethernet connection, which would speed things up a lot. But since I'm in the basement making this video, it's the quietest place I can find to make these videos for you guys. Uh, that's where we're at. But still not too bad for a wireless connection. So it said it is so it is set up. So we're going to go ahead and close this. And then I guess I can go ahead and click on Engine DJ here, and we're gonna see what happens here. So it didn't take too long to install, didn't go through a lot of things. Let me see, did I not get that? No, it is saying it is opening. So let's see how it opens. I'm really interested. And here is it initializing the 2.0.0 update guys and i haven't upgraded my uh prime 4 or prime go yet just because like i said i want to make videos of this to show you guys how to get it done okay so this is the new engine uh, dj software right here and notice that everything is gone <laughs> so this is crazy guys so you're gonna have to spend some time to redo all your music guys you have to transfer all your music and if you're a person like me that has 39,000 songs on this laptop on my main laptop I have 49,000 so I have an extra 10,000 songs now even though they said they made it easier to prepare your collections guys this is gonna take you work time and it's kind of upsetting I don't know why uh, they couldn't have tried to get your old music in there because um, it was already in the program. So you're basically starting over from scratch. I think that's kind of disappointing. Now, I'm really happy that they updated this and all that kind of stuff. But it's disappointing that I'm going to have to put in some work time to get this all going so I can start putting music back on to my Prime 4 and Prime Go and put all my collections back in here. This is going to take time and energy, guys. And that kind of sucks if you're a DJ because time and energy is money and money is time, as they always say. And I'm going to have to put some effort. And I remember doing this before, and that's, you know, that's a half half a day of, uh, you know, for me at least, you know, some 
people will talk about how much music to put on this kind of stuff but this is basically on your main laptop so you can transfer all your collection even if it's just a little bit to your controllers guys it's not just making those little playlists for it it's you want your whole collection on here so you can have them all uh everything pointed out all your cues and everything you're gonna have to all right guys quick update just wanted to show you guys really quickly how to get started that way you guys can get started downloading your music back onto the engine dj software now they say it's drop and drag uh you do have to you it you basically have to open a separate window and get your file explorer out go to your place where you have your music so say you want the uh you have some mp3 songs you would like to put on here so then i'm going to grab these to drop and drag and i'm going to hover it over uh sorry over my collection here because that was for the drive sorry go to the engine library go to collection and now if you want to put it in a crate or you make a playlist of this whatever you want i just want it to go into my collection of all the music here so what i'm going to do is put it into my collection here float over it it's going to say copy and then i'm going to go ahead and release and then it's going to go ahead and it makes that right there now you see now it's going to start putting out now i have a lot of songs on here so this is going to take a while it, it was already uh analyzing like 3,000 tracks now it's going to probably double that uh to i don't know maybe over 10,000. I'm, I'm guessing here really soon uh, but that's how you drop and drag all your files so if you have more music which i do that i'm still gonna have to drag in here you will be able to and that's gonna go ahead and analyze those do everything it needs to get those back into your library so this isn't gonna t this is gonna take some time to get everything organized again but when it's analyzing it says it's faster uh, but i you can see right here it's analyzing tracks but it's still gonna take a while guys so this is definitely gonna take a, t a little bit of time to get back in order which is kind of disappointing because you know this is going to take some time to start all over with the engine dj software so hopefully this is worth the upgrade for what's coming in the future but uh that's what we have here so it's going to go ahead and start updating all this music it's going to analyze uh put the key and that kind of stuff bpm all that kind of stuff it will do all that but it's going to take time to analyze so uh, depending on how fast your computer is will depend on how that's going to come out. So uh, just wanted to get you guys started. I'm not going to go into all the d other details right now. Uh, if, Like I said, if you wanted to throw it into a crate, you can make crates. If you wanted to make a playlist, if you click this plus button, it will make a playlist for you. You can see there's a playlist down on the bottom, and then you could add it to that playlist. However you'd like to do it, uh, that's going to be up to the way you uh, do your, your organizing of your, you know, folders and everything so that's gonna be up to you guys later and then once you guys get all this then we'll be able to transfer it to it transfer that uh, the information from the engine DJ to your controllers through whatever drive you hook up here on this side on the drive so you'll still be able to do it it's still gonna take time but you do have to start over with this engine DJ software uh, let me know what you guys think do you think it's kind of a pain in butt that we have to start all over um, and put all these tracks back in or do you think they could have probably did something to be able to allow that information to just transfer over to the new system? I don't know uh, what they're going to add and why they couldn't do that, but I still think it's a pain. I am going to say I am excited for the future for this Engine DJ software, and I'm excited for the changes that they put in this, but I'm not excited to start all over with Engine DJ software. All right, thanks guys for tuning in. It's been DJ Martini Midwest, DJ Martini Services on Facebook. Uh, DJ Martini Midwest Reviews, guys. If you like these tutorials, if you like me to make reviews, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Hopefully it was helpful. If I helped one person out there, let me know. Thank you guys so much, and we'll talk to you guys later with more videos to come.